as the partner on top, you need to be a little more realistic with your, your spacing and your distance. So if we're here, and Jimmy stays way over here, that's not reality. What's he going to be trying to do? If he passes my guard, he's going to be trying to get his chest over my chest. He's going to be trying to put the pressure. He's going to be trying to flat me out. That's going to be his range. His range isn't going to be over here. I've stretched away because of his approach. If he stays here, I don't need to stretch away. I'm already away. As soon as he starts, i got to get away from him. I gotta deflect. And this arm, if it's over here, I'm not trying to, this is a block or a parry. This isn't to reach out and catch his arm over here. The only time I'm gonna block that is if he grabbed my head. I'm trying to grab my head and I'm gonna block. From here. I'm not going to reach it if it's back in his back pocket. I'm not trying to go here. There's no need for it. Does that make sense? So as the top person, give them the range they need to have to react by stretching away, to have to check the arm. Because if we reach the arm way over here, what's happening to that space between my armpit and my hip? Wide open. Sit through. Right? I don't want to overcommit that. This elbow needs to stay fairly close to my body here. So if his arm's in that range, I can just wait here. With this one, I stretch away. I'm deflecting. This is just waiting here, just in case. I don't want to come way out here and reach. It's going to get me in trouble. Okay? I'm just trying to take his energy and put it over here. That's all. This is the angle of deflection. That's why it's important. See, if the arm is parallel to the floor, he can put his weight over that, it's going to collapse. Okay? But when I make this angle, and I kind of aim my knuckles at an angle to the mat, I don't point them straight at the mat. I make an angle here. So I put, your, put your pressure. Make this angle. If I go here, look what happens. Again, in trouble. Angle of deflection. You are just deflecting them long enough to be able to move, either get to your knees or reposition guard. You're not going to sit here like this for five minutes. Okay? It's going to be, you made the, the distance because you got around your legs, put pressure. You deflect them, you move, recover guard, get to your knees, whatever it is you're trying to do. You're not gonna sit here and try to fight him and hold him here. It's just long enough to give you the ability to alleviate some of that pressure from your upper body by creating the space, by using the deflection, using all these tools that we're working on today to just give you enough room to be able to move your hip. And then once you're able to move your hip, you have options.